Well, we, along with the revelation of immortality, there will be a also a con reconnection to creation. And we will also begin to see sonship and our administration of the kingdom of God begin to increase in authority. And therefore, we will see discoveries come out of heaven, which will increase our ability to produce uh, crops, agriculture, health, education, all sorts of things. And there are lots of things right now being prepared for release, energy, free energy sources, water technology, which will produce irrigation in a completely different way to produce huge crops. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. So God won't allow us to fill the planet and not have the provision to do so. So if you go back and look at Genesis 1 and you look at the sonship mandate, be fruitful and multiply, increase, fill the earth, subdue and rule. As we begin to rule, we will begin to rule with creation in, in a relationship which will produce a harvest, a bounty. See, Adam and Eve were told to cultivate or to tend and look after the garden. And the garden fed them, looked after them, protected them in a way. And I think we've got to see a restored relationship with creation, which will bring about a totally different functioning. The curse that caused man to work by the sweat of his brow, which was following the path of independence and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you follow the tree of life, then you'll find its fruit is always in season. So that is what the, the planet was designed to be continually fruitful. But when we walked away from God, things changed and over various sort of things that happened, things changed. And therefore, the planetary conditions changed uh, after the flood. We lost the canopy protecting the earth. We we developed ice caps, poles because the earth was tilted uh, where it wasn't originally. So you, you have a different perspective. Magnetic fields have shifted in the earth. We're going to find restoration take place. And in that restoration, we're going to find fruitfulness. We'll find that we will be following the tree of life, which is continual fruitfulness, not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is hard labor and hard work. So creation will find a restored relationship with us and we'll begin to see that there will be a great increase in all sorts of abilities and technology and in various discoveries which will enable us to establish heaven on earth as we were originally intended to and then from this planet go and populate other planets you know we have access to a whole system of gates that connect us to the solar system and beyond once we know how to function in that and all this stuff knowledge is going to be released but to the right people at the right time and that's the key you know, if you release the, the knowledge to the wrong people, they use it for wrong reasons. So we need to make sure the right people have the knowledge. And there are people right now who are Christian businessmen, entrepreneurs, uh, billionaires who are funding the research and development of energy, gravity, energy, agriculture, medicine in terms of frequency technologies that will bring us into a totally different state than we're in now but there's got to be a bit of a shaking of the systems which currently exist because those systems control most of the finance most of the media and most of the energy and power so things will have to shift and we will be in position as the sons of god to take advantage of those shifts and bring about big huge changes thank you for watching our youtube channel we really appreciate you taking the time if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.